they'll think either greatly of it or they're like, oh, he's just throwing paint on there. I'm not gonna buy that. So I guess I'm giving my secret away on this. So. I'm Paul Wally Growth and I'm an artist. I gravitate towards the abstract expressionists. What I learned both in Winona and Chicago from painting instructors that were quite versed and very successful, try to limit your palette and try to be able to get a mastery of that. Later in 2016, I did a series of paintings that are black, white, and copper. A lot of times I try to limit whatever I'm painting to two or three different colors. You know, there's a contrast between these two. This is a much louder, more active painting, and this one's a quieter painting. And I try not to overpaint because a lot of times when something's raw and left as it is, it's typically a little bit stronger and it has more visual impact. A lot of times when people paint, it's an additive and a subtractive process. When I put paint on, that's additive. When I scrape it or I take it off or dab it or use like a solvent to reduce it, then it's a subtractive process. So I try to be active in terms of being additive and subtractive in my the painting process and all that stuff. When I start the painting, I do not always know how it's gonna end. And I'm a little bit happier with that because I believe that life is a dynamic process. Painting should reflect that. One that there's, for myself, there's randomness uh, in the world and all that. There's things that we just don't have an explanation. We try to explain things in human terms, but in terms of the universe and all that, uh, it's completely independent of whatever lines imaginary wise we put on them. So, I want my work to be real and have a sense of life with it, to be spontaneous and very physical. Okay, so I know basically when a painting's done when in two terms. One, uh, I look at it and intellectually it makes sense. There's like, it, it has like a certain statement or a certain effect or impact that I see and then I have to, more or less, I have to trust my instincts. And it tells me, don't do anything more, you're gonna goof it up. I get to a point where when I'm painting them, they're not working out. Like, the, I was, you know, the, the black, white, and copper series, I painted for maybe two to three months. And all of a sudden, I just started like, getting paintings that were like, I was less happy with, so it's time to make a change. On the whole, people respond to, I think, if there's beauty in something that was stated and happened, even people that don't particularly like abstracts seem to respond more positively to my work than not. I just, I want, I want to be an honest painter. I, wanted, I want it to be my painting, nothing that's kind of like uh, contrived or something.